hey, 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 welcome to a new show, a first episode of our new show, Cooking. The Invested Dad's on the grill, where today we're going to be making some tangy teriyaki pork kebabs. So, jump on in, let's go. Oh, what's that? Hello? Yeah? Yeah, we're filming it right now. It's canceled. Why is it canceled? I got, what am I gonna do with all this food? I'm wearing an official The Invested Dads t-shirt and cargo shorts. I can't film a market update. Well, I guess I'll do it, we'll make it work, but what am I gonna do with all this food? Cook it anyway? Okay, oh, yeah, I'll save you some. All right, thanks. Bye. Well, change of plans. I guess you guys are gonna have to get some economic data and market data along with your tangy teriyaki pork. So, without further ado, here we go. Before we get to the boring stuff, let's talk about what we're making here. So today, we've got some marinated in some teriyaki sauce, pork chops, thinly sliced. We've got some peppers, orange and red. We've got two onions and we've got a pineapple, as well as some additional teriyaki to baste on once we get to the grill. So what we're gonna do, is start off by cutting. I'm gonna chop everything up and get it ready to assemble. So as promised, economic data. Today, we're gonna to discuss some recent headlines that influenced the financial markets in July and also kind of look at what's gonna happen in August and what we've typically seen from that. So. Overall, stocks rose in July as better than expected corporate earnings really kicked off. Um, the progress on the COVID-19 vaccine also encouraged investors. That led the S&P 500 to gain 5.5%, while the NASDAQ picked up 68 and the Dow, which lagged most of the year and this month as well, only rose 24 Stocks raced higher at the beginning of the month. The NASDAQ composite set multiple fresh record highs. Now, record highs for the NASDAQ in that tech-heavy sector have been continuing you know, since then as well. And that sector is up strongly year to date versus the rest of the market. And the S&P 500 and especially the Dow have yet to attain their highs. But overall, economic reports were upbeat and investors, they focused on the positive trial results from a COVID-19 treatment. Stops, stocks did slip a bit after jobless claims ticked up at the end of the month and increasing tensions with the U.S. and China uh, continued to put a little bit of a drag on the equity markets, but they closed the month strong after really the big names in technology had phenomenal quarters. So think Facebook, think uh, Apple, Amazon, those companies did extra, extra well on earnings and that sent their stocks higher and the market as well. The month of August in general has gained a reputation for being one of the more volatile months of the year. Last August, for instance, it was crazy. The S&P 500 posted 11 moves of more than 1% in only 22 trading days. The month of August historically has been a rocket ship of uncertainty for investors over the last couple years. Specifically last year, whew, out of 22 trading days, the S&P 500 made 1% price moves. So that's in either direction 11 times. That is crazy. Out of 22 trading days, half of them had 1% price moves. So historically speaking, the price moves have been strong in August, and that is something that we may see um, in 2020 as, as we've got a lot of uncertainties going on right now. I would not be surprised if we see that again. So now, as we can see, the vegetables have been chopped. That's a time-consuming process, and I may have cried a little bit in the process. That is a lot of onions, and uh, I'm weak. But next we move on to pork chops, because what is a kebab without meat? And that is the meat. So now comes the fun part because some assembly is required, as is the case with all of my daughter's toys. Baste these suckers. So, basted, assembled, and ready for the grill. 
it's all hot and fired up out there. I've got a little extra teriyaki sauce to baste, and I had some extra vegetables and pineapple, which I threw in a little foil boat here, just so I don't waste it. So let's take this out to the grill, and we'll get going. Well, thank you for joining me today. As always, this is Austin Wilson with Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. First and last episode of the uh, Invested Dad's Cooking Show. But, hope you enjoyed it. Get out and grill. Please remember nothing we talked about today is a financial recommendation. But if you have any questions, we'd love to help you out. Um, give us a call at 419-425-2400 or email us at hello at hzcapital.com. Thanks and have a great summer.